It may have been Chuseok vacation, but there's still been plenty of this been going on since last week in the Korean Tier 2 scene. And whilst there's yet to be any official confirmation regarding the rumours surrounding players and teams being promoted to the league, there has been plenty of new announcements made, titles won, and of course, roster changes. Runaway played in what could quite possibly have been their last game under the iconic branding during the NetEast Esports X tournament held in China this month. To no one's surprise, Runaway made it to the Grand Finals and faced off against Chinese team T1W last night. The best of seven set wasn't the nausea-inducing close call we've come to expect from Runaway Finals, but rather a less stressful finale for the boys in pink. After taking Li Jiang, Numbani and Dorado, it came down to a 4-2 win on Volskaya for Runaway to clinch the title as next champions with a 4-0 victory. With a Contender Season 2 Championship and now the next cup under their belts, they've truly come to the most fitting ending for their Tier 2 Cinderella story, potentially to continue in the Overwatch League sequel. Does Vancouver have any traditional ties to the colour pink? Fingers crossed. If you didn't manage to catch the game live, it is available to watch on the official Korean Overwatch Twitch channel. You can find the direct link to the VOD in the description below. It's going to be quite the rehaul over at Kongdu with a catalogue of changes, the first being their head coach Blue House has left the org to join Shanghai Dragons. Blue House first joined Kongdu last year and led the team to the contenders Korean Season 2 Grand Finals. It looks like he's trading his chances at claiming victory in Season 3 with the chance to revamp a fumbling Shanghai Dragons, notoriously went 0-40 throughout all four stages of the league's first season. And whilst there hasn't been any confirmation regarding rumours that the majority of the current Panthera roster will be following Blue House to Shanghai Dragons, there has been some confirmation that they will no longer be part of Panthera. Technically. Kongde has announced that they will be rebranding as Still 8, with all teams under the org to undergo subsequent rebranding accordingly. The 8 represents an infinity symbol and thus, I quote, infinite growth in the global esports market. Whether this means Kongdu Panthera becomes still 8 Panthera, or another amalgamation of symbols entirely remains unknown, but we'll be sure to let you know as soon as anything's official. And Blue House isn't the only Tier 2 coach to be leaving for greener pastures. As we mentioned in the main news video this week, Metagaming's Avala has joined one of the league's newest expansion teams, Washington DC. Things are still hush-hush as to the state of Meta's roster and whether they're still operating as sister teams, so we'll be sure to keep you updated. And Foxes continues to hemorrhage players in the run-up to the Season 3 trials as he took to Twitter to announce that off-tank Fatal would be leaving the roster. Fatal will be leaving due to family reasons. This news comes after the org recently announced that Sassin would be on temporary leave due to academic issues. Whilst there still hasn't been an official date set for trials, let's hope Foxes is in fighting shape in time to make it back to the regular season. And that's all this week. As always, for more Korean gaming news, be sure to check out our full video on our YouTube channel. And that's all today. I'll see you guys next week.